What is up YouTube? Ruben here and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows XP Starter Edition in VirtualBox. If you remember watching the video of how to install Windows Vista Starter Edition in VirtualBox, but you have a limitation of 512 megabytes of RAM and I believe it had a hard disk limit, I believe 120 gigabytes, something like that. I'll put the annotation for the maximum hard drive limit. But I know the limit for RAM is 512 megabytes. So anyway, let's get into the in, let's get into the tutorial. You're gonna need VirtualBox. You're also gonna need to download Windows XP Starter. I will I will put the EPAN link, and you're also gonna need WinRAR. I forgot to say WinRAR. Uh, in the FLP video, the Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. Okay, enough of that. So we're gonna hit New, and I'm gonna type in Windows XP Starter Edition. Just like that, and then next, you can leave it at 192 megabytes, but I'm gonna bump it up to the maximum, so 512 megabytes. Next, create. Next. Next, I'm going to save it to a different hard drive. Save. Create. Now, you can hit start or just go to settings and then get your ISO and then hit or hit start and you'll see this right here. Let me browse for the ISO which is located. in here All right then hit start it's gonna do the blue screen setup it's gonna start windows I showed you guys how to install Windows XP professional on actual hardware I'm not gonna do that in VirtualBox I already showed you guys how to do that this comes up just hit enter and hit F8 then hit enter hit the up key to, to select format the partition using the NTFS file system quick hit enter and now it's going to format the drive and then it's, it's going to do a hard drive check yep and then it's going to copy files going to save configuration and it's going to restart so let, let me go ahead and pause the video so I'll be back all right the computer is going to restart so hit enter or just let it go do not hit any key to boot from the CD otherwise you will go to a constant loop Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so I'll be back. Okay, when you get to the 33 minute mark, obviously it's not going to take that long. Just hit next. And I'm going to type in my name. And hit next. You can skip this by hitting next and hitting no on this. You don't even need a product key. I'm going to type in XP Starter. All caps, of course. Now hit next. Then hit next. And now it's going to install. So it's going to install the network. Then hit next. And now it's going to go ahead and copy files. It's going to build the file list and then it's going to co continue copying files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right now. As you can see, just skip to 26 minutes. Obviously, it's not going to take that long. It, as you see, it's already at 25, 24, 23. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, so I'll be back. Okay, so it's now restarting. Then again, do not hit any key to boot from the CD or DVD or whatever you have. And then it's going to boot into XP. It's going to give you this big mouse cursor that you use in Windows XP Starter. Alright, 
I hit OK and then hit OK. And I'll pause it right now, so I'll be back. Okay, when it comes up, just hit next. Then click on help protect my PC by turning on automatic updates now and hit next. Skip that and then hit no, remind me every few days and then hit next. And this is the installation music that you just hear right now. Then hit finish. And there you go, that's how to install Windows XP Starter Edition in, virtu in VirtualBox as said right here. If you type WinR and then hit Winver, it's going to say Microsoft Windows XP Starter Edition. So there you go, that's how to install Windows XP Starter Edition in VirtualBox. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon when I upload new videos or make a live stream. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at RubenAlphaDCO17 or follow me on Instagram at RubenTheTransitFan as if you want to get uh, everyday scoops before it hits YouTube. So there you go, people. I'm out of here, so that's how to install. I don't know why it's not even closing. There we go. That's how to install Windows XP Starter Edition as shown right here in VirtualBox. So, I'll see you next time.